What is happening? We got Garfield in the cut. Uh, all I know is I'm a fraud because I don't know what he's playing at all. He's Incineroar. playing Incineroar. Incineroar, a beneficiary of some recent buffs in the, this last patch. So we have SGT. Uh, I have not heard of this player, but he's playing Incineroar, and I know a lot of people have been having so much fun with Incineroar. Um, the main struggle, I feel like, here is that Peach's punish game is going to explode Incineroar, and getting in it might be a bit of an issue, because Peach can kind of space out with turnips and float around. If Incineroar really can't get his uh, his startups like that down throw fair, or, uh, exactly. Like my yeah. my big thing I was gonna point out was the approach game. How do you break zone and uh, and this uh, RNG is coming through for the New England peaches always uh, or Daisy, excuse me. Let me call it right. Oh, there you go. There's a startup. Now that up air is actually incredible. That that's sweet. Uh, that has some kid. really good moves. Yeah. Like down tilts, uh, up air. There's a lot of good moves on Cinder. The problem is he can't get in. The thing that I mean, he can get re revenge he, off that though. That's the thing as well. That side B does leave him vulnerable. It's uh, you can beat it out with a lot of uh, hitboxes that are bigger than it. As long as you don't get the one where the uh, the grab is active, you should be good to go. I like the thing over here is also recovery. I, I mean, everyone says it about Incineroar. It's obviously the uh, you know the elephant in the room when mm -hmm. it comes to this character. So you really have to have a very solid neutral when it comes to Incineroar and not do stuff like that. I, I, get, I get why. Like, he, he's been putting a lot of pressure on with the back airs and aerials to so try and force him to stay in shield. But then again, at 88% at the ledge, that might have killed. That's when you go for that side B with Incineroar, though. If you condition the other oppo the opponent to sit in shield quite a bit, Incineroar's not typically going to throw an aerial. It's usually yeah. going to be that move right there, the clothesline. That will take off the first stock right there. Um, Remain confident in his option, too. That's how yeah. catching the jump because he knew that Nuggets wanted to get away. He did not want to be anywhere near in that corner. And only take 52%. As we talked about before, Revenge, all these Peach Strings are definitely going to rack on quick damage, but Revenge can bring him right back into the game really quick. The thing that I want to see Nuggets be doing right now is just get those punishes a little crispier. Once he has an in, I feel like he's he's being a little too nervous to engage with the Incineroar in fear that he's going to get a, like a big hit off of him. His, the hitboxes he's also been utilizing to get these punishes uh, have been unfortunate. Like, a for instance, his down air sent uh, Incineroar into the reverse direction that uh, he was anticipating. And also, he's been using forward air a bit to try to catch uh, some of these hits been getting. Forward air has a little bit of a startup to it, so you can't really get that. You can't really get anything off of it right away. You kind of have to use it more of a, as a spacing tool. Mm -hmm. He's been trying. He's you know trying to establish it as a pressure tool to stop the floats. But the thing is, Nuggets has been spacing just enough out of range because he knows like, all right, look, if you throw that out, you're not fast enough to get in on me. Ooh, and no. decided to go for it again. You can only do that so many times. The pressure on the back airs gonna kill him finally. So he took a gamble there, and I. I don't know if I agree, because he had, the thing is, Nuggets gave up stage control, and now SGT had it. He instead immediately decides to use side B instead of letting Nuggets freak out in the corner. Mm -hmm. you, that's when you get that side B, because if you miss that, you've given up stage control. You're back off the ledge, and against Daisy, that's not the best course of action right there. But I, I like how he's been holding center stage. He's got to just sit there and just wait. Wow, the zone great. fair gonna take the stock and again 51% it was exactly the same as last time But that time getting him landing like now he's forced to go low the dare at the ledge is not gonna be there Has left and said man just edge guard bro Yeah, I mean is he, is he wrong? You got a big character, <laughs> you know, he could still do some stuff. And that that was excellent utilization of that point. That being said though, it's is gonna get unfortunate tap right there The dramatic finish though leading us on now SGT has to be careful with that neutral getup. Uh, Peach's forwarder can actually catch neutral getup before mm -hmm. uh, you can shield. So you've got to be very wary of that. I, these dash attacks are always seeming a, a little overcommittal. I think he should be waiting for Nuggets to throw that turn up, then try to approach, because he's putting himself in the corner by using side beat and dash attack. Exactly, and you saw there, like he, <laughs> both seems like both of them are definitely boys. Like I said, I've seen them play each other a lot. Um, you know, it's. Every time he tried to commit to going in, like you said, he would box himself into the corner right. while trying to pressure Nuggets. And Peach's floor was just going to get him just right. enough out of range pretty much every time. He did make some good comebacks, but one big thing that he never got to abuse was revenge. Every time he seeked, uh, he seeked it out, Nuggets baited it out. Yeah. And he was already there to punish it, and so that doesn't matter. It, He's still having a grand old time. Having a good time, but... Nuggets, also with Peach's movement, how quick it is. Peach excels at really baiting out your movement. Peach mm. can really float back with Fair and most of her other moves to kind of trick you into overcommitting, mm. and that's where she, she's like, okay, now it's going to punish. But of yeah, course, if you don't have the speed, the zone break of Peach, she's going to get so much I mean, off da of you. Daisy got or it, Daisy, too. excuse me. Daisy, I know, I keep, I keep I got, got to refer myself. to them appropriately. <laughs> if we called Leaf Leaf, we got to call her Daisy. I, I know, we're getting blown up Got to right stay now. consistent. <laughs> I'm sorry, Twitch chat, in advance. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
Well, uh, you know, Nugget, Nuggets. I mean, he's wearing a peach shirt. Yeah, exactly. That's that's just playing with my mind. No dude. bias. <laughs> it's like it's like those little puzzles where, uh, the, it's like a word that's a color, yeah. and then the instead of being the color that the word is, it's a different color. Bro, I hated those. So it's like blue, but it's actually pink. Yep, the I, color of the word is pink. It's I, like I hated those because uh, I got exposed many times. <laughs> my ADHD those would like flare up, and I'd be uh -huh. like, wait a minute. All right, we're going into game two here. I am not. Uh, I they went to town. Going to town. Thank okay. you to House of Three Thousand, by the way, for that little graphic there. Blessed. Devin blesses. Devin and blesses every stream so he touches, good. dude. He's OP. One hundred percent. Kind of like Daisy. Yeah, kind of like Daisy blowing this man up. Right now. <laughs> I right, force him. See again, baiting the revenge out. Not fast enough to punish him that time, but I, I just don't know how SGT is gonna finally force that revenge. And he's, he's also wait, getting dude. grabbed on shield a lot. Like he needs to. Like, you have to be wary of that. The forward they're not gonna take the stock yet. In matchups like this, you know you gotta be patient. You gotta, you gotta wait your turn to play the game because Peach, mm -hmm. Peach is gonna be playing a one-player game for the majority of it. And then when your older Daisy. brother finally, sorry, <laughs> Daisy's gonna be playing that one-player game when your older brother finally hands you the controller to play Mario. You realize he's already beaten the game, and it's time for dinner. Mm -hmm. So it's like dude, he's just gotta wait. These landing revenges, I feel like they're just too much of an overcommitment. My man has to just start playing neutral a little bit more and wait for Nuggets to overcommit, and also not give up, the, not give up the ledge and not give up center stage. Trying to go deep for the uh, the downer there, gonna get traded on the umbrella. I did pretty much the main oh my source of his. God. Oh, is he gonna commit? Okay. He did. My man's crazy. Yeah, he he's gonna make it dead. back too. He's not dead for that quite yet. Yes. Okay. Great job with that edge guard. There we go. Has to go high. So he doesn't drop it. Yeah. Oh, good. No. Bait. I mean, good. Um, good spacing coming in from Nuggets there. Yeah. Immediately pulling a stitch after being forced off stage. Peach is tricky, man. That that parasol has been one of the hardest things to punish since melee. It, it, Daisy. He's going to keep looking Flower, at Flower, not fruit. <laughs> <laughs> tomato, not tomato. All right. Just look at the I'm trees on the stage, Sean. <laughs> All right, good Good thing that they had that uh, had the armor and did not commit to a jump because that would have been a stock. Going high. Oh, he's dead. Is what I would Don't. say. <laughs> <laughs> you would have thought. That, that, that was a buff that Incineroar needed. 100%. Really? You know, that it's, it's a, it was very detrimental. That back throw going to take the stock and even it back up. Zanky from Street Fighter says, what's up? <laughs> Still living. Yeah, SGT. He waited for the punish, and he got it. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is, was great. Incineroar is Zanky from Carnage. He has the Lariat. He's he has, a goober, dude. has all the throws. But getting bodied by the by the top series, as per usual. This is, this is his, uh, his startup, though. See, he's finally keeping him the keeping uh, Daisy in the I'm corner, but it might be too little, too late. I, I am happy that we're starting to finally oh, see him use wow. the F-Tilt at the ledge. Uh, Tipper F-Tilt is extremely strong. He brings out the shank, bro. Instead of already playing around. Oh. Going deep again. He's consistently giving up commitment. Well, luckily, the Nair traded to give him back on stage. but Luckily, he's making it back on. But if you if you don't have a lead, don't overcommit. But it's it's work it's paying its dividends because Nuggets with those little slip ups there is is, is giving uh, SGT and now he even sucks against an explosive character like Incineroar. Nuggets' punish game also hasn't been as crispy as uh, I, I I've seen it be before. Maybe it might be a little bit of nerves or just like he doesn't know the punishment windows on Incineroar. Could be that as well. You know, this is the end of the pools wave. You do get a little bit of fatigue. I know a lot of them have just been blitzing through. Whoa. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> what a uh, good bait. Again, you know, he's just consistently, he dashes in, dashes out, and he's been getting SGG to pull the trigger first. It's a big factor of his success so far in this match. He just slapped him out of neutral B. <laughs> get your hands off me, cat. <laughs> is that supposed to have, like, invulnerability on the ground? What? <laughs> Now he's got to be careful with these rolls up from ledge and his other recoveries. It is hard against Daisy though because Daisy can catch so many. Okay, still making it back, but there's a lot of rage left on this on this giant cat now. And uh, if there's one thing we know about rage, it's real good. Not gonna die. That was a, that was quite a great, yet. great description there. Great description. It's it's <laughs> it's powerful. It's real good. The game the game can switch from your favorite <laughs> to not in your favorite quickly. But that being said, Daisy using her uh, her assets to really wrap up that yes. game right there. Yes, uh, you know. Oh, I just made a pun unintentionally. I, also. <laughs> Oops. I see. That, that, that's one of the first ones I've, that you've thrown at me, so I wasn't prepared to cash it I in. I wasn't prepared either. <laughs> I, I was like, okay, I, I didn't think. <laughs> well, luckily, you know, just uh, ma being able to consistently have the same game plan as before, constantly just staying just enough out of Incineroar's range. Slow characters like that. He held strong. It, it's really tough to deal with, you know. And I think the the overcommitments by SGT really kind of bit him. Mm -hmm. You know, towards the end there, you saw Nuggets didn't give stage control up yep. too much. He really maintained that ledge position, though he couldn't get the punishes most of the time. He kept 
giving himself opportunities to get the punish. It doesn't matter if it was crispy, but he kept giving himself those opportunities while SGT didn't use his few chances correctly. Yeah, well, Nuggets what? kept setting him back into that ledge trap or just center stage face off. And Nuggets was just able to keep getting his opportunities. When two of your better options to get off the ledge are neutral B or up B for the armor, it's really easy to bait out. Yeah. And you saw every time yeah. he actually threw out the neutral B or he even tried to go for revenge, Nuggets was already prepared for it. And that's Absolutely. a tough, that's a, the tough part of playing slower characters like that. But, you know, SDG did get himself to winner's finals of that pool. So obviously he makes he took, it out. Top yeah, 48, yeah. He's so going to be on top 48.